morning and night, it is night, and I look upon the building that was once a school. Now a memory, some see a thing for fear in this building, but not I. For at this time, the building and I are one bound by something I cannot explain. The spirit of the building itself, perhaps. I see this building in the dim glow of the floodlights and wonder if someone should restore the building, trapping the spirit or others such as I to enjoy or let the building crumble, putting the spirit to eternal rest and to let the building be just a sweet memory. I look, I see, I feel. I hate vlogs! And look what I'm doing. Real Avesto, aka James Robert Hermes here, at a haunted building with my dad, who you should know as Korg13, but you probably don't because he's never actually been in a video before. But now he is! Uh, there's a link somewhere on this video to Korg13's channel. So how long have you uh, uh, worked in this building? I uh, uh, worked here about uh, six years. I worked at the high school for 35 years. So and six out of 35 years you've been in this haunted building here. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was uh, upstairs uh, cleaning clean one of the rooms and I heard whispering uh, downstairs uh, and uh, a door close. And I've heard other custodians and other uh, secretaries uh, or uh, other people have uh, heard similar uh, you know, sounds and stuff. balcony that uh, uh, it has all windows it, you have to crawl through a window to get onto the balcony and uh, uh, I've seen a lot of videos which window you know, all, any of them oh <laughs> except, except for the ones that have passed the, you know, the last two windows because I think uh, you want to get to it from three different windows yeah, if you go through this window or on the other uh, on the other one, uh, you'll be having a very long step. So well, there's a balcony with no door to get out to it. Yeah, you have to crawl through a window <laughs> to get onto the balcony. And I've seen other places uh, where uh, they have a, a door uh, right in the center. Uh, we can go out. Uh, look out on the balcony make speeches and stuff uh, but here it's all window 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 I think I'll go on the balcony let me crawl through a window <laughs> see. it looks like that's the center window right there right mm -hmm. they, sh they should have put a door there it, uh, it's different than the other windows there's uh, s two smaller windows on the sides of it. Mm -hmm. None of the other windows have that, but that one is just a window like the others. Yeah. So. Here's the balcony bit from the inside. It's kind of open. There's a hole in the wall here. That's the balcony that you can't access except through these windows. There's no door. There should be a door right here in this window we've got open. It's, uh, the dome has eight pillars, and I, th I thought it was uh, built the same as, uh, year as uh, the old administration building at the high school, uh, which has four pillars. 
but they look similar. And this here has a dome on top, but that's why they call it a dome. And the other one uh, at the high school had a square top. Uh, and uh, the one at the high school was uh, built in uh, 1903, and this one here is built in uh, 1906 or 1907. That's yeah, the the dome part, which is you know a little brown thing on top of uh, the big building, uh, and they call it the dome. <laughs> and I think it looks like the White House. Uh, other thing that was there was a, a cone shape where was uh, spread the air. Um, but it, this is what the dome on the top of the building looks like from the inside, which is apparently right in the ceiling of the theater that I didn't know was in here until today. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is a very big stage. Yeah, there, there's no seats in this theater, just a couple of tables. Uh, uh, yeah, the folding chairs. And the tiny little stage with the yeah, used to be very a, bad um, backstage. Elementary school. And uh, uh, county schools and Sonora High School had it. Uh, and in uh, uh, the yeah. Blue Shield. Um, five. And do S four, and there's a big arrow in the middle. Four is this way. Okay. The numbers are gone on some of these rooms, but this would be one. Three women's bathroom. <laughs> four, okay, that's where it said four was, is on this side. This would be five. We go back over to the sign. Arrow, that way. Five, that way. No, it's not. <laughs> that would be six. Yeah, six. Maybe seven. Seven somehow when it loops to this one, nine. which is eight. There's nine men's. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Eleven. The most useless signs in the universe. None of the some of these rooms don't have numbers on them. And the arrow pointing to room five is going the wrong way. <laughs> this says four is that way. That's right. But four and five are both in the same direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they used to have a number here uh, that says one to four for that way. And this one here, uh, five to 11 that way. But there's no five that way. They're both that way. <laughs> They're both that way. Nothing in this building makes any sense. 102, 108, 107, 103, 102, 103, 109. What? <laughs> Room 200. Room 201. Room 203. Room 204. Where's 202? <laughs> the only thing I can figure out is there's a doorway around the hallway from 
uh, between 201 and 203, which is right through the hallway. So there's the doorway right there. So this hallway here, once you pass through this, would have to be 202. We're so proud of these trophies that we're going to store them in the basement where nobody will ever see them. Until now. <laughs> then there's the door going up for no reason. See? This door's blocked off by the stairway. And the hinges are on this side, so the door would have to swing out. There's no reason for the staircase to be here, but there's no door handle on either side. So that's a, the most useless door in the universe. Okay, here's the door from the other side that you can't access because there's a stairway in the way. And you can't even open it from this side because there's no door handle. Of course, even if there was a door handle, you still wouldn't be able to open it because the hinges are on the other side. The door would have to open that way. <laughs> So there's a useless door. There's no door handle on either side. It's blocked off by a stairway. And even if the stairway wasn't, uh, or even if there was a door handle on this side of the door, you still couldn't open it because it swings out towards the stairs, not in here. <laughs> Who designed this thing? <laughs> Here's the outside of the exit door. That's the door uh, with the stairs going up to it that block the other door. The most useless door in the universe. <laughs> and here's a line uh, right here where the floor is. And uh, uh, these exit stairs uh, could have been lowered. Uh, you know, down without hitting the person hitting their head uh, going in the basement door. Yeah, uh, put the lights lower so you can see the basement door. Yeah, there's... There's still plenty of room. There's a good, well, like, two feet of clearance there. Here, hold this. Here's a door. On the inside of the door, it says, do not open. It's kind of late. <laughs> Shouldn't this be on the outside? How do you know not to open it if you have to open it to read not to open it? <laughs> <laughs> the door is as thick as a safe. There's no lock on it. Which is also kind of weird. Yeah, I really hate vlogs. <laughs>